Hey guys, it's Regan here and in this video I'm gonna show you how to tame the Plesiosaur and Ark. So let's go! So first of all, the taming stats. Um, yeah, you do need a decent amount of narcotics to knock it out. I would also recommend using a poon since you can't use strength darts underwater. You will need the pink kibble. Um, this would be the best food, otherwise you can use raw mutton or normal meat. If you want to know how to craft the kibble, make sure to check out the link in the video description. It can be carried only by the two so. And it spawns on all maps except Scorched Earth, Aberration and Extinction. And the difficulty is 3 out of 5 points. So let's start now. So one small tip before we start. Um, we have a bug on Fjordo where deep sea water creatures can spawn on the map, in like on the bottom. And like the place you saw, it can happen that you will find one. And then it will be just stuck on the ground and not be hostile. And it's normally hostile. It will just flee. So you can now take some flippers with you. Or uh, for example an Icti. And just chase it and knock it out that way. That's just a tip. Um, yeah. With an Icti you should be good to go to catch up on it, since it won't attack you at all. And even with fl flippers, we can keep up with the place here, if, as you can see right now. Just make sure that it can happen that you will encounter some hostile creatures here, like Megalodons. And if you want to know how to stay longer underwater, make sure to check out the video in the video description, where I explain four different ways on how to stay underwater, especially, for example, for taming purposes. But you guys know me, I don't want to just show you the easiest strategy since it can always happen that it won't work on your server. That's why I'm on the island right now where we have some deep ocean and where we have some place your sorrows. Um, now I'm on a Sarko, you can also use an Icti for that strategy um, because you need a quick swimmer. Um, for the deep ocean I would recommend a Sarko since it's a little bit bet, uh, tankier than that. And we have already two Palacios behind us. And now the first strategy I would recommend is to take a cave on the island. I will link the caves in the video description also. And just l try to lure the Palacios into the cave. Ma some caves don't have a big enough entrance. I think this one is one of the caves here. That the Palacio can't enter here. Um, then you have two options. Wait, I'm gonna try to lure one in for a second. So we will be sure that it doesn't fit in. Now, as you can see, it really doesn't fit through that hole. I wonder why, since it should be big enough for the place here. But e even if you don't get it in, you can just hit it from here and it won't be able to reach you. So uh, this is a strategy that's actually valid. At some point it will try to escape, obviously, but then you can just go out again and try to chase it again. So, or lure it to the hole again. Otherwise, I'm gonna show it to you real quick with the spawned one. If you have a cave where it's actually fitting in. So let's assume this one's we lured him in here. Then you can just go up here. Oh, what the fuck? Saku is bugged right now. Give me a second. That's why you need a little bit tankier creature than the Sarko. Uh, than a normal Icti probably. Yeah, and it can also happen that <laughs> the creature <laughs> of your choice won't be able to get out of the water here. Um, yeah, then you could probably just, uh, yeah, cry out and go out of the water by yourself. This would also work, but probably take a cave where you be a you, where you will be able to walk out of the water with your creature. So there we go. Now we are out of the water, and the place here has just normally gotten into the cave. We didn't have anything here, and now you can just knock it out. Um, from this position here, you can even use Drank Darts for that one now. Um, so keep that in mind. If you are out of the water, you can just shoot it with your Drank Arrows. Um, and often, um, if the Placer then tries to escape, then it will run into one of these walls, even though if it fits through the holes, um, then it will get stuck here and you will have a very, very easy tame here with this strategy. Um, just make sure to keep always a little bit of distance to the place here so it won't be able to kill you. I think it will now al already try to run away and then it normally runs into one of these walls so it will be stuck and not find the way out again even though we spawned this one in here now. But uh, this will also happen if they find their way by themselves in here. And then, after some time, you will have a very, very easy place your sword tam tame here. Yeah, and you will be not, uh, you no cre other creature will annoy you in these caves since, yeah, normally you will be s pretty safe here. And you can even build a small bed in here. 
Um, so if you die, you can instantly respawn in this cave here. But don't worry, even if you don't find a cave or you're in a map where you don't have a cave or the caves are taken by other players or something, then don't worry, you can just take a Sarko and Ikti and outrun the place here. Um, like I do right now, you can just shoot it and then move again since the Sarko and the Ikti will be a little bit quicker than the Plesio. You will have to be careful with this strategy though, because if you get too much damage you can obviously die. Um, as you see I got a hit here now, um, but if you have a little bit tankier creature here, um, like the Sarko, you should be good to go. You can also obviously um, use the Icti, but it's very squishy, so I probably wouldn't recommend this strategy here with the Placeo. For many deep sea creatures, you can also use a strategy with the flippers just to use the turning circle um, of the creature and just knock it out. But the Plesiosaur has a very, very long attack range, so this strategy sadly doesn't work for the Plesio, just in case you were thinking of this strategy. I explained it with the Mosa, for example, but this is not working for the Plesio. Keep this in mind, very important. But what you can do is use the thing that the Plesio is st uh, going is a deep sea creature and at some point if you go into too high waters for him he will start losing interest in you and will start to go back down. Let me show it to you real quick. Now it's aggro on us and if we go a little bit higher into sh more shallow water or more warm water let's say he will lose interest now and now you can shoot it and get his go down get his aggro again and keep doing that. That's obviously a little bit more time consuming so um yeah it it's very annoying actually um so i probably wouldn't recommend the strategy but you can also use this strategy so it's working definitely it, we will just have to run all all over down uh, you will have to swim down up again and this will be a little bit time consuming right now i think it's stuck in the world border yeah yeah so you see it sometimes it's even get getting stuck here so you can use this for your advantage this was by the way random and not planned here and besides that, we also have the strategy with a two saw. This is the world border right now. Give me a second. Um, you will need a friend for that strategy, but if you have a friend with you, you can use it, obviously. Um, if you want to know how to tame a two saw, also make sure to check out the taming video in the video description. And now, ah, the place is so s quick, so it's a little bit annoying. We have to grab the place here now. Let me give get some distance here real quick so we can turn around and grab him. So there we go. And now just grab him. There we go. Yeah, there we are. And now your friend could knock it out very easily. Um, with this strategy, you see we're getting attacked. So I would recommend going up to the surface where the place here is getting, like I would say, friendly. Since it, at some point in the shallow water, he won't attack you anymore. As you see right now, he just want to get back into deep water. And here it won't attack you. And now your friend could just come and knock it out very, very easily. And it's actually a free time if you have a two so already. So also a valid strategy at this point. But if you let it go, for example, as I did now, uh, as a solo player, the player will just be gone instantly. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing this. And another strategy would be to build a small trap on the ocean bot on the bottom of the ocean. Make sure to have some gaps where a Sarko, for example, or an Icti fits through. This should be enough now. Then one door at the en entrance and one at the exit. Open one side. And then we need our Sarko again. And then get your place here, here and lure it into the trap here. There we go. Now it's inside of it. And then get the shit out of there real quick. And close the door and I hope it worked now. And yeah, it worked. Now we have the place here stuck in our trap. Also a very easy strategy. Um, if you can afford these gates here. So I would also recommend this strategy. And very important, if you knock it out, give me a second. There we go, now it's unconscious. And keep in mind that the torpidity is uh, taking off uh, quickly here and the place here takes some time to tame. So I would recommend taking some narcotics and force feed him some narcotics so the torpidity will stay high. Um, just as a small tip for taming the place here. So then, after taming it successfully, congratulations, you have a very strong deep sea creature here. And 
yeah, we're getting a tech play place here back there, I think. Um, but yeah, now you have two options. First of all, you have the normal saddle like this one, and you also have the platform saddle here for the place here, where you can actually build on. And um, this one, like the place here, is also a very, very strong creature. And as you can see, it is full, uh, full speed. Uh, it's definitely, I think, much, much faster than an Icti or anything else. And the damage is also decent. Let me check real quick on the Megalodon. The attack range is also nice. The attack speed is crazy. Like, there is, there's no mod right now on this server here. So you can just imagine how strong this guy is in the water. Um, yeah, just the normal attack right now. And the other Placeo doesn't stand a chance. Obviously, I have a very strong Placeo right now. Um, but this also works for everything else. Besides that, he has no special abilities, just a platform saddle where you can build on. For example, you could put you could put turrets on it and defend and tame underwater with that, so the hostile creatures will get destroyed by the turrets here already. And yeah, also it's like, imagine how fast it is. Let me go up to the surface so you can see it, since there you can see it a little bit better. So now you see how quick it is. It's it's crazy. It's like it's like a maywing in the water, and the, on top of that we have a crazy damage on in, yeah on the on this uh, place here. But yeah, guys, that's it with the video. I really hope you liked it, and if you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.